believe that my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out, but I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book. I can't have done, but it's actually... One Man Prison, if you're familiar with the books that Cyrus and Akinar were stuck in, that is the One Man Prison. No, can I have the book back? We, he, they, 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 they took the book. I did not create the Age of Riven, unlike my father. I have never presumed to have such power. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay as the hallmark of my father's work. He's writing life from books, so this might be Gen. And it looks like Gen was idolized, and it is a either a forbidden art or a impossible art to actually create your own ages. Yet, Gen is actually creating his own ages. Riven is an age created by Gen. You don't cross Gen, otherwise you get punished. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the Islanders if he is still the man he once was. Okay, so there's like some kind of combo lock right there. Once you've found Catherine, signal me. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that appears as a rift between the two separate systems, the star fissure. There's also a chance this all goes well. Uh, but now we're on the other issue of this just takes us back to the original doorway that was blocked off because there is no levers or anything to open this grate. There's nothing unique on the walls and I'm assuming these are going to be the same, right? Yeah, they're the same. Hundred percent. OK, yeah, so th those aren't changing. What about the floor? I can't look at the floor. If I go around here, the floor is just a star. Honestly, that floor, I, I think the floor is just there to help point out that there's five sides to the room to kind of help you get oriented. Also, I just realized there's I, I recognize this as actually a dunny numeral. I don't know what numeral it is, though, we'll, but we'll, we will get to that later. I, I imagine it says five. I imagine that's five based on literally everything, but we, we, we will see later. Again, the only two things that I really remember from this game is this rotating room and the general idea of the dunny number system but that's all i remember from this game um okay so what we can do actually is we can go back and we can try rotating i think twice more and that'll put the other opening at the other door and then we can see what is open or available then because it could be important okay so yeah here we have this opening and just so uh, Charizard can see as well we are going to go back in here and you can see when in the other configuration we can see there's another grate right here 
again, no buttons or levers to open. So we have two doors with grates that we can't open or do anything with. So this next rotation should put another opening behind the crawl door. And we should, let me actually check something real quick. I think I might be able to look through here and see. And it just looks like walls. Okay, so we can't actually see what the other door would be facing. Aha! Opening. Oh, there's another ro there's another button right here to rotate the room. Okay, we got an ice cream cone and we got the sound of steam. And there's the steam. Okay, that rotates us 180. What does this do? Okay, the steam's not going out anymore. It's going to ice cream. Oh, that almost looks like that weird machine that we saw from the very beginning. We'll have to go check that out again. So we might have just gave that steam power and might actually do something now. Yeah, we got a rotate button right here. We also have this lever. Hey, the lever doesn't do anything obvious. Let's see what the other door. From. This perspective looks like. Yeah, that's a wall. We should take one more rotation. We should have another door here. Indeed. Oh, you know what? I just realized. So this is. Oh, that opened the grate over here. This was one of the doors with the grates. So those little like lever things, those open grates. But then we have another door with another grate that we don't know how to open. <laughs> Oh, maybe this opens it. So the this this lever opens the grates, apparently. Or not. Or it didn't open that grate. Maybe this opened the other grate for the other door. So if we rotate, okay, if we rotate this twice more, we will have availability back to the original entrance, right? We are back to the original entrance. And so now to test my theory, we need to rotate this twice more and then we'll have the original original configuration. All right, no, this is this is a very, very confusing puzzle to begin with. Uh, it this this um, I, the I have I'm keep in mind, I'm coming in with already a little bit of knowledge on how this game works and how certain puzzles are solved. This is one of the puzzles that I'm very or that I'm most familiar with so far. And that's why I'm doing it first to get what my, to get my knowledge out of the way. That way, as we as we continue forward, I will uh, I will have more and more of a challenge with the puzzles. Yes. OK, so those get rid of the grates. Ooh, this looks look at all this writing. I wonder how long that would have taken to engrave. Oh, my gosh.
There's a path over here that we can't get to. It's like water? Is this some sort of boiler? There's like pipes coming out. Yeah, the path that we can't get to. There's like a wheel. I, I guarantee you that's a shortcut. We go over there, we hit that wheel, the path extends, and we have a shortcut back. Oh, hey, it's Tetris again. Huh. Yeah, you can hear steam. And that's what I'm saying. Is, is, is this a boiler? Should I be standing in here? <laughs> we got a one dot. I mean, to be fair, these aren't actually tet oh, these two are not Tetris blocks because they're odd shaped. Also, I don't think there's a single Tetris dot. So these are the only two actual Tetris shapes, but. I'm not exactly sure what that represents, but this uh, if you look, this looks like the pathway. And there's yeah, there's a door right here. So, yeah, this is the pathway that we're standing on right now. That means these five things are the pipes. One, two, three, four. And there's one on the other side. We can't. Five. Again, five. Well, question is, what do they lead to? I'm not exactly sure what the shapes represent. We'll probably figure out later on a clue or something, I imagine. Then there's the fifth pipe up there. You can kind of see it. And we're on the another steam thing. Oh, look at that. Some kind of pipe going into the water out there. Also a bridge. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay, so I need to figure out I can access that bridge we just saw outside if I figure out how to extend this pathway over here. And it leads to two different directions, actually. Huh. That's kind of weird. You okay. The um when you're over here like turn you're not quite aligned with it so you try to go forward to align yourself to go down that pathway you're still not aligned with it but you you don't realize you can just click over close to it and it is automatically okay that, that's weird i wish they would have done it where you were aligned with it so you know that's where you it's where you're going so this is a bridge control that right there which is interesting. So if I do that, the bridge is still up. Or maybe that just enabled the bridge to be controlled. That, that might just be the power to the bridge control. That might not actually control the bridge itself. the vast expanse of water. Again, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Huh? Oh, 
Okay. That's so weird. There's like a little gap in the walkway up there. Another. Looks like you control this thing. Again, just enabled some things. I'm assuming. That, that's all the pathways over here, right? There's no like hidden pathways in the wall. Doesn't look like it. That's 180. Oh, 180. That looks at the wall. Maybe you have to find and turn on all five steam. Yeah, actually, that might be because there's five pipes. And there's three of them I turned on. I bet you I have to figure out how to get access to that upper walkway to get the other two. Okay. Those pipes are really big, though, compared to the pipes we've been turning on. But they do kind of correlate because like this one kind of goes out straight where that one was. This one goes out to this one kind of goes out to where the pipe that we turned on that had the little ice cream cone on it. This one kind of goes out to where we turned on the other one that was over here. I almost missed you. bridge did that enable anything else that path is still disconnected the sound of steam is louder town louder now too wait did up oh, did putting that bridge up did that lower this bridge oh come on do i have to be over here to look up. Well, that bridge is still up. Nothing over here has changed. So what's the point of raising that bridge when we need it to get back to the original section if nothing has changed? Anyway, I've kind of reached a stump point there. I'm actually not sure what to do. If we can do anything there, I'm actually not sure. Um, and so let's just go explore the one direction we have not explored yet. Let's go across this bridge. Look at that, dude. That's gorgeous. Even dude, this game count 1997. Imagine the amount of time they spent making all of these images and how many of them because like look I go boom I can turn around and look and it's slightly different boom boom I can go look and it's slightly different like boom boom and like like look like uh, all the frames that I'm skipping by not turning to look at each of these like 
the time and effort it took them back then to make all of these images, dude. Just that is impressive. Absolutely impressive. Ooh. Got kind of scary in here. Dude, I know. And this is why Riven is my currently. I'm saying currently because I have not played four. I have not played five. I have not played a, the majority of three. I have not played Uru. So there's four games in this franchise I haven't played yet. So between Mist, Riven, and a little bit of three, this is my favorite Mist game. Well, this isn't ominous at all. Oh, hi, it's welcoming me. I don't know if I like this. Is that some kind of... I am not sure what I am looking at here. I'm really not sure what I am looking at there. Yeah. I mean, a king, a god, a deity needs their throne, and Gen is very apparently worshipped, so I imagine this would be Gen's throne. It's very posh, too. It has, like, the nice red cushion. I imagine it would be very not soft. Because, <laughs> like, it appears soft, but it's actually not. Hi, lever. Okay. This is what makes Riven hard. The fact that they just hide levers and buttons and it looks like it almost blends in with the scenery. I was literally staring at it and didn't realize what I was staring at until like I actually process what I'm looking at. That this is like gonna this is a interactable lever. And that just opened a door somewhere. The window looks like it's underwater, which doesn't make sense since we're at the top of a mountain. Well, especially looking at this one, what it appears is that these are cameras. And so this is a camera looking at some place else. It could be underwater. It lo almost looks like this is water up here. Like not not the not the steel cords or beams or whatever those are, but like past them. Like this looks like almost like water. Because if you look right here, it looks like there's like a, a rock sticking out of the water. So I don't know if it's underwater. But it's very blue, which I I, I I do approve of. So. Can I? I can't go around the throne at all. I, I I do. Okay, I'm sitting in the throne now. We have visual on both the cameras. Whatever the hell this is, it looks like a microphone. Great. I have encaged myself. Blue gang. Okay. Um. I do not like being in a prison. I do not go well in being imprisoned. Makes a humming noise? Okay, that, uh, so pressing the button forces the lever off. Can I... I, and I can't move the lever when the button's not pressed. So... Can I... Hold on. Gotta be thorough. Gotta be really thorough. I've learned my lessons with Cyan and puzzle games. Abduction, I'm looking at you. I can't move around while... Oh, I need to turn this on, actually, first. Okay. I am unable to move around at all. So I'm literally stuck like this when this is on, when this is functioning. Oh, 
Okay, Mystery Throne, I don't know what to do with you or what you even do. We did open a door, though, which is good. Oh, I'm, I think that's the throne closing. Okay. Yeah, the, the lever resets. So when we press the button to leave the throne, the lever resets. And so we're unable to, if we're outside the throne, we can't have it on. So if the throne needs to be on, we have to be sitting in the throne. A door that blends in very, this looks like the room that we opened the door in. Again, the stars symbolizing the five points. There's the door we just came out of. Oh, this almost looks like the door that we just opened right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the door that we just opened. Gin, yeah, uh, it's spelled G-H-E-N. <laughs> gin. <laughs> I want some gin and tonic. Better than gin by a long shot. But yeah, so I'm really starting to believe this star is just the religious symbol of gin. Is that, that eye looks almost realistic that's like offerings of food flowers that looks like a some kind of maybe like a water container although i imagine this probably has some kind of hard liquor in it and again more offerings to some kind of creature two creatures flanking Some kind of cage, which is very reminiscent of the cage that's on the throne. I can get closer to it. Oh. Doesn't seem like I can. I, I don't think I can interact with anything on this, though. can't go into any of these little enclaves at all. Okay, so this is the door that we opened when we were in the throne room. I'm like 99% sure. Oh, this might be the other camera perspective, actually. Because like there was like the poles that were up top. I, I remember seeing this and not sure what the hell it was, but it's like some kind of ramp leading Oh, okay, so. Interesting. And I'm assuming. Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. In the distance, it's moving. This is the Riven Tram System. From the clunky maze of the Selenetic Age of the original game, now we have the amazing Riven Tram System, the next iteration of Cyan's vehicles. Cyan is very, very notorious for putting vehicles in literally all of their games, and a lot of them are very, very interesting and fun to use. Okay, so we got two controls. We got a lever, and we got a, another thing. So that other thing appears to rotate us. Oh, no, it's not safe. Not at all, but... What's the fun in safe? What is the fun in safe? So yeah, that rotates back and forth. 
I did click on the lever already, so in this position, this lever does nothing. So I'm assuming what this lever does is it's accelerant. It's the acceleration. So we can't accelerate because this is the end of the line. So if we turn it around, we should be able to use this tram to go to a new location. Also, I do apologize for the pixelation when the FMVs take place, the FMVs being the cutscenes. Uh, they weren't even cutscenes back then, they were FMVs, which stands for full motion video. <laughs> Now nah, you're getting it. Now nah, you're getting it. I mean, I got wings anyway, so I got I mean, I got I, I, I got I got these babies. I can I if it's not safe, I can I, I, I can just fly on out of there. So, um, anyway. Yeah, and the FMVs get very, very pixelated because it's a 1997 game being played on a 2K monitor, being downscaled to 1080p. I love this trans system, dude. This is so fun. Whoop, and we get airtime there. That's why it's not safe. We actually get airtime. Oh, that's so fun. There's going to be several more, several more of those rides. Don't worry. Okay, so now. It's hard to believe this game is that old with these kind of animations, dude. I know. Also, I don't think you saw, but the characters are actually real people. They're not they're not 3D models. They are real people, and that's why the cutscenes are called FMVs, because it's full motion video. They were recorded people acting. They were not 3D models. Okay, so that goes back to the Riven tram station. That goes over there. They're real people. They're, they're actors. They're, they're not 3D models. Uh, we're fairly close to a place where we'll see some more, so stand by. <laughs> but yeah. What is this? Okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember this at all. What the heck is this thing? It has a numeral on the back of it, because I do recognize that as part of the Dunny numeral system. S yeah, I don't remember you at all. We'll come back to you. I imagine with the numeral, you have to do something with that whole story arc so we'll um come back to you once we get more information on that and we can't actually go any closer to that wall which leaves us the cave I, when, you, when you when you see me kind of like put my cursor to the sides like this that's me testing to see if there's more perspectives and this turning all the way around. So when you see the little finger that like the, the curved finger, that means I'm going to be turning 180 back the direction I came. If you see just a point finger, that means I'm turning 90 degrees and there's something I can go there. No, 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 I would like to solve or I guess resolve because I did solve them like. So many years ago. Probably like 
nearly 20 years ago. No, not not that far back. It was maybe like maybe like 15 years ago when I played this before. But. Um. I, I, I would like to resolve them myself. If you would like to look them up and see what the numbers are yourself, feel free. But I, I do I do remember there is there is a very. Yes, the game does tell you what the numbers are at some point. There is a way to for you to solve out what solve what the numbers are. It's this is um very similar to the game I played abduction, which abduction is made by cyan worlds at the same. It's they're literally the same creators where cyan worlds. You literally have to figure out a base 10 numbering system to solve puzzles. And this is the original number cyan puzzle in the game where you have to solve and actually learn the numbering system for the uh, for the culture that's on Riven. Okay, so we got a path going down and we got a path going up. So you see that tells me I'm going to turn 180. That tells me I'm going to turn 90. So if I turn 90 here, this is actually back the way I came because I only turn 90 degrees looking down, down the steps. But if I turn 180 here, that's going to put me going back up the steps. So when you see me putting the cursors to the side like that, I'm testing to see if there's other directions I can look. I can turn 90 here. I don't see anything of note here. That's a gorgeous view. Whoops. Oh, this is probably what I was trying to see from that. It's like a huge, like some kind of structure just right here. Not sure what it is. Can't really make it out. Huh? Ooh, more diverging paths. We still haven't gone back the other direction down or we'll come back to that at some point. I thought like little insects of flies like going around. Oh, I just realized the stumps, the tree stumps. This is where they're cutting down the trees to make the books. Oh, that's crazy. Cool. Let's go this way first. Oh, hey, there's an axe over there. We'll come back at some point, see if I can use it as a weapon. I highly doubt it. Okay, we're in a we're in a cutscene. Oh, look. Look, 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 look in the, in the little in the little tower. There's a there, there's a guy up there. What is he? Inter you don't see anything there. Yeah, it's probably it was extremely pixelated. That was a really bad example. We'll come back to that. I like this cave. Oh, look, dude, this guy is holding rabbits. Well, those look like rabbits. And then there's like, I can't even make up these shapes. It's so blue. As this 
Yeah, this, this is probably Gen, considering it has the, spy, the star on top. It looked like fish. Oh my gosh, I just got turned all the way around. Okay. Oh, they do. do they almost. Oh, well, actually, yeah. They look like the same creatures that were like flanking the that like cage with like the offerings where, where, where we first used the tram. So these must be like the creatures of Gin or then something because like the star make me makes us mean Gin and these creatures are again symbolized with something close to the star with Gin. So like these maybe maybe the, are Gin's guardians or the re Gin's religious animals or something. Um, there is another review here, right? Just looking out to the water. Oh, look, see, OK, you probably be able to see it better. So there's a, there's actually a kid sitting on the dock just ahead of us. There's like a few pixels in there and here comes someone. Oh, they grab the kid. And they're gone. Interesting. I bet you that guy in the tower earlier, I bet you he was sounding some kind of alarm. Yeah, yeah, I saw a figure move. Look, look, I saw a few pixels moving over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's interesting because uh, I bet you that guy was sounding the alarm because we're an outsider. We're not recognized. And so now they like, I bet you they were like, that was like a mom come and get her son or daughter away from the stranger. Some kind of lake. Ooh, look at this structure. Almost a slightly reminiscent of the earlier cage we saw, but this one's a triangle, not a circle. It's like a walkway extending off of it, but it doesn't connect to anything. So we need to figure out how to probably get a walkway over there as well. That almost looks like a camera. That 100% is a camera. What? Who has a camera installed on a rock to spy on little kids as they're playing on docks? Again. Honestly, it probably was to, it's probably to like, because like, obviously this is some kind of village and then more than likely this is the village that is religiously subservient to him. So he probably has a bunch of different cameras like this one to make sure that they are constantly following, because from what we understand from Atreus, he is extremely controlling. So he would want to make sure at all times that his followers are doing as they should in his eyes. Oh, hi. There is a pathway up here. Like a ladder that's not extended. Is there something over there I can use to drop that ladder down? Or. I can't even look up. I doubt it. I bet you that's another shortcut down back to this pathway. There's a ladder right here, too. An H. I can't go forward on this. It also, is the water bending? The water's bending. There's like a void of water around this H. Huh. 
Oh, you can even get a better. Yeah, it's 100% a camera. Look at that. I guess it could be like. Maybe some kind of like sprayer, like it like sprays water out to fill up the lake or the pond or something. I want to bet it's a camera though. Oh, okay. And when we, uh, when the, the, when the finger goes like this and points, that's like pointing upwards. Like we can go upwards. And we're in the village now. Look at whoa. Hi, that looks interesting right there. We get a better look at the triangle structure right here. It's like a rock coming out of the water or something in the looks like almost a walkway right there leading into some kind of wall bunker type thing up there and get a really good look at the camera. How bulky that thing is, actually. There's something in the water right there. You can see this walkway actually goes around up to this triangle tower. Interesting. So. so something up here could be just a tree, though. We can't go any closer to that house. Nor that one. Oh, it's because look, this house has like a walkway. But if you look, this walkway's reeled in. This walkway's reeled in. So that's why we. Oh, so can we go up to this house? We can. We can actually go around it. Let's knock on the door. Nothing. Let's knock four more times to make it five, because five seems there's like there's like a star on here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hi, that is a big face. Comparatively to the size of that door. Five times actually did something. I heard like a baby. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anything else. I, they, they saw us. They know we're a stranger. They're not going to interact with us anymore. Whoops. Resume. Interesting. This is at the ladder. Yeah, it's the ladder back down that goes over to the houses that have their pathways. So let's go around. These houses are very interestingly shaped. And you saw it like this small compared to the people because you saw how big that face was in like that doorway. Look, you can actually get a really good look at how the water is like bending right here. Look at that. It's kind of crazy. How does the water to bend like that? Well, this looks like ritualistic offerings. Um, ooh, this looks very like the. Oh, crap. What was that? I went to some.
uh, Native American villages that were like m made out of like they they were like made into like stone walls, and this looks very familiar to like like a one like one of their uh, furnaces, like their 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 um, smokers. So I bet you this is like used to cook food. The village that I am thinking of are known as the Cliff Dwellings of Mesa Verde that were constructed and populated by the Pueblo Native Americans for approximately 600 years during the late 1190s. The game is making you very nervous, really. It's probably just because like the, the ambience and the how you feel alone, I imagine. This is not a horror game, though. There are not jump scares, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh, wow. So I bet, I, yeah, I bet you this is used to like cook food. Or maybe this is probably used for the fuel, the wood. It's like some kind of offering. It's like a drum, probably for some ritual, like, and then also some pots for maybe it's like some incense or something. Also, look, that looks almost another like another one of those um, lookout towers, like because like that first guy looks like maybe like sound the alarm or something. Okay, I can actually open this hatch. Oh, and we're inside now. Um. Okay, so there's three controls that I can interact with. One, two, three. But they all do nothing right now. Okay, so let's skip back out. Let's pull that lever that we saw and see what happens. It's gone. Uh, okay, I was not expecting that. Um... How, uh, it's, a, it's in another bubble. And like another one of those walkways, like right there. And I saw one like over. I can't really see it here, but I saw one over there, I think. So how... I imagine if I just pull that again, it'll just come back up, right? Which is this isn't gonna like are you going to work now that I put you down and up? I don't think so. Probably need to put it down there and then figure out a way to actually get to it. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Um Well, let's send it down and then I guess when we find it again, we'll find it again. I don't know how to get down there. I don't think we can get down there right now because that is that's not part of the walkway because the walkway is like over here it might actually it might lead to it hold on did I just overlook something it might actually look look at this hold on can I actually get to it wait pathways back there there's a ladder going into. Do I need to figure out how to get into that? Oh, no, the house is up there. Wait a second. Hold on. I think I go back a second. Oh, yeah. Look, this pathway goes to this house that's right here. I don't know. I don't think I can get back there yet. No, I can't.
Okay. So this is where it was and we sent it down. So it the it should be in the I think that black shape right there is probably that vehicle. And it looks like if we can figure out how to get to this little cave, we'll be able to get into the vehicle. Oh, wait, it might be a submarine. Because in the water, we go down into in the water. That's my and that might be able to take us to those other Oh. Interest. So we need to figure out how to actually get to it. I imagine this might be a place where we can get out on it too. Look, look, you can't. I think I think that's even tracks actually right there. Look at that. Okay. Well, we did have a bunch of other pathways we could have taken, so let's go back a ways and check another pathway. Let's see what's behind this door. That's spinning. It's like some kind of dome that's spinning. That was the door closing. Yeah, that was the door closing behind us. Ooh, that sounds almost volcanic, especially with the red glow. I imagine that might be, oh yeah, that's definitely lava. That's probably the result of some of the instability caused by the age being unstable. Like a pathway up here. I bet you that leads to that spinning dome that I saw. There's like a whole path, whole network of pathways up here. Look at that. Actually, maybe it doesn't. It like leads up here to like this ridge. Maybe to that um that like lookout post. Another path. Uh let's go this way. I can like I can turn 90s here, but I don't think like this all just looks like environmental ambience, not actually important for gameplay. There's a lot of like fireflies and stuff, which is pretty nice. Like some kind of like rope rolly, like uh, a winch, I think is what they're called. Potentially right here. That almost looks like an origami representation of like that fish thing, Gen's sacred creature. Like some water. Well, that's not scary at all. And uh, gee, I wonder why this game makes you nervous. What you looking at? Grr, grr. Okay. Are these lights? Are these literally lights right here? Like, look, there's like a street. There's like a, a cone of red coming from two different points right here. That's like bathing this in red light. Those are lights. They're being dramatic on purpose. This is hilarious. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> just look, 
co coned red lights to make this thing even more ominous than it already is. That's hilarious. Uh. <laughs> a little cute. It's a little cute. Not that cute. Not that cute. I'm watching you, fish figure. There can only be one. I don't know what I just said. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, um, I don't know. So is this just like some kind of shrine or something? Another shrine to the fish things? Like, yeah, you can clearly see them here. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, that's not what I was trying to get at. Not at all. Um, but yeah, you can clearly see it even better here. The lights are... That's 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 actually hilarious. I'm not jealous. I don't know who who, who would be jealous. I, I don't have anything to be jealous about. I am, a, I am a proud and confident dragon. I don't know. I don't... I don't I don't need to be cute. Oh, oh crap. I got I just started clicking for it. I don't even know where I am. Okay, this is like the winch thing. This is going back. Yeah, this is going back to the uh the origami. Yeah, so this is the original path we took, or this is the original choice we made. So if we go this way, this leads back up to the door. So we can go this way. Look at the like vegetation. Like, look at those like blue glowing mushrooms. So alien. It's actually really, really cool looking. Oh, hi. I what kind of insect that was. more vegetation. This almost looks like we're about to make a full circle around to where we were initially, actually. This this like shape almost looks like the shape of a human. That's kind of funny. Oh yeah, that has to be intentional just to freak you out. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. I feel like that's lyrics to a song. Is that lyrics to a song? Ooh. What is that? That almost looks like the hilt to one of the, like, daggers that we saw earlier. Wait, is that, is that, is, I don't know the song very well, but is that, the, is that the lyrics to the song Firefly? Oh, hi. Fireflies, but okay. Now I'm about to listen to that song just like. So hmm. Yeah, and we're back out to where all the tree stumps were cut. We go back over here. This will lead us back to. Yes, okay. Okay, so we kind of made a little like circuit there. Where's this? Oh, here's the axe. Can I take the axe, please? Can I take a weapon? I can't take a weapon. I'm sad. 
Maybe I need it to defeat Gin. Oh wait, no, this I have to do it with non-violence. Granted, it makes sense why non-violence is needed here because Gin is Atris's father, and obviously Atris wouldn't want to be violent towards his own father, even if his father is a complete and utter asshole. This doesn't look sketchy. Okay, that just takes me back out. Where do you take me? Whee! Roller coaster. Oh no, roller coaster brings a fire. Keep, keep, keep. Must keep all arms, tails, and paws inside inside the vehicle at all times. Wait, are we in the water? Oh! Oh god, the compression on that is horrible with the freaking, like, orange light. So, like, those, like, ring... Those, like, fire heat ring things? Those were, like, keeping the water. I wonder if that's some of... How, how the technology works like they have like some kind of like heat technology that makes the water like it is dark that makes the water like congeal around it and not actually fill in s space like it should okay where are we we're not done whoa 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 Um, okay, that does nothing. Is this? A wood chipper. That almost looks like what the mouth of the wood chipper looked like on that beetle. That beetle art that we looked at. Oh, ladder. We can go down. Yes, that is a wood chipper. Look at that. Well, I'm glad it wasn't powered. Otherwise, we would be dead right now. I need to have a warning on that cart. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. Wow. Okay. Well. We're at another location that I have no idea what's going on here. Um... And we're going to have to explore it next time. Terekoi Dani, ki bayem rivat, al royem be tig tavom, ka bodona gayem. Yeah, this looks similar to the symbols that we saw on those little eyeballs. Oh, look at that. There's like a little eyeball right there. It's Another eyeball. This is the third one we found. Finish exploring out a little bit because there's like that whole bottom passageway. What was that sound? 